For this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can move materials around in our directory, how we can have relative pathing, and the steps involved to make this happen. So it's a new feature being able to change the materials from your CGF and also having relative pathing. So the users on the marketplace and within Teams can make their objects more portable. All right, so we have an emergency lamp. I'm going to right click. This is the MTL file. I'm going to change it to XML. And if we look closely, let's zoom in here, we have the diffuse and the bump map, and they're going to an absolute path. This means that from the game folder downward, it's strictly declared. And it's like this on every single object. So what we need to do is we need to change this to be relative to wherever the material sits. So in order to do that, we can simply delete all of this and replace it with a period. And that's what we want to do for every single one of these. And this is what's going to make it relative. We come down here, make a period. Almost done. So now with everything relative, we can press Control S to save it. And we'll get to the point of having materials as well. So right now we have emergency lamp, which this CGF, if we were to look at it, inside of our tools, if we put it on the Chunk Explorer, we can see that there's a name that is strictly declared, and that's emergency lamp. And what's, this is what is the name of the emergency lamp in here. The change has been made in the fact that we can actually change the CGF to whatever we want. So let's change it to tutorial lamp. And the key here is in order to change it and for it to path correctly, we just need to rename the MTL file to be exactly the same. So now let's go into our game SDK. I'm going to shrink the launcher. I'm going to go ahead and boot up a scene. We can do pit blank. I'm going to hide the terrain. It's kind of distracting. Freeze everything and come down in here and see what we got. So in the Create Objects tab, we want to go to Brush, Assets, Objects, Emergency Lamp. And we're going to drag this into our scene. So if I look at it, I can press Control and Shift and pop it up. And you have to remember that this thing is a small lamp. So we can make it bigger. And then we're going to rotate on the x-axis. And you can see that all the textures match up now. Even after we change the name, it still found the material. If we were to look at it, we can come into our material file. And we'll see that it actually has a full path. That's the only thing it looks like inside of CryEngine, but it's actually still a relative path. So we've been able to change the material name, as well as making it a relative path so you can put any object with any texture anywhere inside of your game directory, and you'll be good to go.